ODJ. Yes. Yes. Do you go by that at all? Yeah, Olivia? I mean, I do now. Fantastic. I'm worried when I have to say your name, I'm going to like go, go is, it, is it De Jong? Or De Jong. De, De Jong. The J is a Y, it's Dutch. I might start calling myself Yabba. I love that. There we go. Love that. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Have you. Are you sick of hearing that yet? No, I mean, I mean, no. No? <laughs> Just a, a phenomenal film, a phenomenal performance. Thank if we're amongst friends, I probably would have liked to see a bit more Priscilla. Thank you very much. I think that's a compliment. A, an amazing job. Is there, Did you do more and it didn't make it to the film? Is there more scope to tell more of Priscilla's story? I think so, absolutely. You know, I think obviously the type of movie that we were making, it's predominantly a story between um, Elvis and, and the Colonel. Uh -huh. um, and I think, you know, it was an honor to be able to step into these shoes and to be a part of that. But I think absolutely there's there's always room for, for more breadth, especially from the, the female gaze and the female experience. Absolutely, Did you? is there a chance to have a, I've already chatted to Baz, I didn't get a, hardly got about two words in, but <laughs> I would have liked to say Baz, Priscilla miniseries. Is that a little spin-off? A little spin-off. Did you speak with her in, in depth at with all? With Priscilla? Yeah. I mean, during the course of filming, no, we didn't get to touch base. Because um, of COVID? Because of COVID, and I think, you know, it's strange to have, a, you know, any sort of person play you in, in, in real life. I can imagine it would be very, very bizarre. Um, but I think once she saw the film, I think to, to sort of see and, and feel, as I'm sure you did too, the love that was behind this film and the real respect for his music and his legacy. Um, yeah, we, we got to sit next to each other at Cannes, so that was really, really beautiful. And she's obviously shown a lot of support um, online for the film and for everyone involved, so it's been really special. That's so wild. I think about you. I spoke to um, for, to M Night. I didn't speak to you, yeah, but you right. sat here a few years ago now yeah. for the visit. I can't believe this is <laughs> yeah. this, the same person. How crazy! Yeah. Do you feel a real sense of kind of stepping up with a film like this under your Absolutely. belt, the staircase sure. that you're now in this other kind of zone? I mean, sure. You know, I I, I really would love to maintain a, a great relationship to to the, to the work, and so I kind of just look at each job as 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 just you know another job, I suppose, that I want to treat with the same respect and regard. Um, but yeah, it's an exciting time, you know. I'm so proud of this film. I'm really proud of The Staircase as well. And the fact that, that people are rallying around that is, is even more um, exciting. When you cast your mind back to being cast as yes. Priscilla, what, what were the next kind of steps? Were you in the running with a bunch of other? I was actually thinking about this earlier. I was like, who else was I? Like, who were the top few? I have no idea. I have no idea. It was sort of, you know, a text message that my agent got while we were sitting at dinner together. What? Yeah, I just had asked about it only moments prior. It was a weird sort of um, uncanny uh, experience. Synchronicity or Yeah, kismet synchronicity. Or, there yeah, you go. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what happened? You're sitting there eating dinner. You're yeah. having a salad, I imagine. I have, of course. No, I was actually having a truffle bolognese at my one of my favourite restaurants in LA. And um, we were catching up. Having a you that's know, my headline by bit the of a, way. Of course, <laughs> sure you can take that. That's fine. Very on bread. Um, uh, yeah, we were sitting there and I was like, damn, whatever happened to that movie? You know, like who ended up getting the role? And he was like, I don't know. That would have been a good one to get. And I was like, same. And literally, he went. Zzz, he picked it up and he. <gasps> and we both looked at each other and we couldn't talk about it because there were people around and we just ordered heaps of wine and <laughs> heaps of oysters to celebrate. <laughs> And was it a lock? Like the text was, it's it's yours yeah. or right here the next day? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was kind of, yeah, it was mental. I get chills thinking about that because that's such a, a big moment in yeah. anyone's life to be like, you know, that's your life BE before Elvis and now AE <laughs> after, after Elvis. Elvis. Yeah, wow. And and how, you know, how have things gone from that, that dinner through to Khan I mean, sitting there with, with Priscilla at some, making the film COVID? Sure. Like that's just, a, you know, an epic it's been a long journey. Throw a pandemic in there and four years, three, three and a half years of my life has passed. It's been pretty mental. But yeah, I mean, to sit, you know, at Calm with her and to have her support and have everybody sort of loving the film, it's, it's really been um, an incredible experience. It's a lot of talk about Austin during COVID. Yeah. Uh, you know, they said, mate, there's COVID, you've got to go home. He goes, I can't find my passport. I have to stay here. Bad luck. What, what did you do in the shutdown? Did you stay on set in the mindset of Priscilla or you went, cool, I'm back to Perth? So. I mean, yeah, I hung out on the Gold Coast for a while. I kind of got stuck there. Um, I mean, not stuck there because it's an incredible city to be That's my next stuck, headline. Stuck, stuck on the Truffle Gold Coast. Truffle bolognese. So you, no, this is going to be the croissant gate. I know, my God. I'm, 
Oh, no, it, I had a, yeah, I, I spent a bit of time on the Gold Coast, which was fantastic. You know, I was right near the beach, so it was beautiful. Um, and then I sort of popped back home to Melbourne for a while, got stuck there and then, well, not stuck there, but you know, with the, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? With the, with the, the, with the border restrictions, you know, I had to come, I had to quarantine back into Queensland for two weeks. Um, yeah, I sort of moseyed around, enjoyed, tried to enjoy myself, tried to stay in the headspace. I watched heaps of documentaries. I was working on a voice all the time. So wow. it was a great, it was a beautiful lifeboat. We had film club, we had movie club. Me, Austin, um, some of the producers and Baz, and we'd all, you know, put in movies and watch them. And then every once a week we'd have a big Zoom. So oh, that's dope. That was nice. Was yeah. there a film that you brought to film club that you were particularly passionate about? Oh, man, not compared to the films that they would bring. Like, they're all like auteurs with like high end choices. And I can't even, I don't even remember what I, what I sent in, but I do remember feeling embarrassed. Honestly, maybe that was too truthful, but yeah. <laughs> Do you get that sense at all when you're speaking to press that it's 2022, the idea of being cancelled because you, you know, you said oh, I was oh, stuck gosh. somewhere. Like, do, do does that weigh on you at all? Do you do you feel you can speak freely um, as as an Australian? You know, we typically speak the truth. For sure. I mean, mm, I can't. I, I like to think that I educate myself. I like to think that I sort of stay up to date with sort of um, where things are are going and as as society is evolving. I'd like to think that I keep up. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm too worried about saying that I got stuck on the Gold Coast. But, um, but no, I mean, no, I try not to think about it. I think if you stay educated and stay aware, then you can just, yeah, stay smart, you know? I love it. I can't wait to see where we're talking again in a few years' time. Hopefully. Well done, you're awesome. ODJ. Thank you. Out. Thanks, champ. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're awesome. Thanks, Pleasure Olivia. Pleasure to meet you. Take care. Thank you. See you.